You're watching an NDTV exclusive. The removal of Cyrus Mystery as chairman of Tata Sons continues to send shockwaves through both the business community and the wider community as a whole. From a boardroom battle now, is there a possibility it could go into a legal battle? I'm joined by Mr. Mohan Parasaran, senior Supreme Court advocate and somebody that the Tatas consulted very closely during this whole process. Mr. Parasaran, thank you so much for joining us in your first interview. Uh, for about what period uh, were you in consultation with them before this final decision? See, frankly speaking, I can't uh, get into the nitty-gritties of what uh, I had actually advised uh, my clients. Right, but generally. Because that's a matter of privilege. Yes. But I was approached, I think, about a month back. Hmm. And I have already given a written opinion to them. Right. And broadly, it was of the view that this decision they were taking, this change of guard, they were within their legal rights to do so? Yeah, we, uh, they have posted some queries hmm. and I have answered the queries hmm. and I said uh, that uh, the board was competent to appoint a chairman following the articles of association Okay. and in terms of their articles of association, for appointment they have to constitute a selection committee. Right. For removal, there was no need to appoint a selection committee, Right. but it has to be done by a majority of uh, the directors present including actually the consent of all the nominee directors of the Tata Trust. They also have to be present? Yes. And their consent is also important? We only went by the rule book. Okay. So within those rules, they were perfectly legally in the right to go ahead and, and do this? Yes. See, he actually has been replaced, not even removed. I think we have carefully used the word replaced as chairman. Mm. And he still continues to be a director right. of uh, Tata Sons. Right. So he's been replaced temporarily by Ratan Tata. He has been replaced and Mr. Ratan Tata is now the interim chairman. Right. Now, his contention, it appears to be, is that the board couldn't have done this in this way, that they needed to give him notice so he could make a case for himself. Yeah, possibly he is uh, seeking to rely upon one particular article. Hmm. Possibly, I think, uh, Article 121B, which says that uh, if any director wants to move a resolution yes. for uh, bringing an agenda for consideration before a board, then 15 days notice has to be given. Right. We considered that article as well, hmm. not only me, some other legal brains also. Yes. But that will only apply to a case where a fresh meeting or a fresh notice is given for the first time right? and will not apply to a case of an ongoing board meeting. So this was a board meeting which had already been scheduled? Already commenced. The board meeting had already commenced. Had already commenced. And for every board meeting, it is a normal corporate practice hmm. that you also have a residuary agenda any other matter with the permission of the chair. Okay, so it didn't specifically mention that his replacement was on the agenda. Yeah, you can always bring it. You can bring it as a, and, any other item. And secondly, all the directors are present. Right. It was not as though there are cases where if only, only say three directors or four directors, only the quorum is present, hmm. then possibly, yeah, one can say it has to be had on some other day. But hmm. here, everybody was present. Hmm. But Mr. Uh, Parasaran, I mean, uh, doesn't that appear to be somewhat of a coup d'etat that you hold this meeting, you don't announce that you're going to do this, and then you tell the chairman of the board halfway through the meeting that he's going to be replaced? You know, they did it at the, the show, at the beginning itself. I think uh, I was told hmm. that even before the meeting, I think they had a private meeting. Okay. And uh, he was put on notice. And uh, I'm not sure whether before that uh, there were any talks. That I'm not privy to, privy to that. But before the meeting, he was before told meeting, that this is likely to meeting, happen. Uh, just before the meeting, hmm. I was told that uh, both Mr. Tata and one other director right. from USA, who had come down all the way from the USA, tried to actually persuade him. To step down. To step down, I think so. Hmm. But I think uh, possibly he had his own views. He is entitled to have his own views. This could possibly be Nitin Noria, who is the, the dean of the Harvard Business School. Yeah. So he and Mr. Tata tried to have a word with him. Yeah. Therefore, you can't say 
that it was like a sudden surprise was sprung upon him. But you know, at the end of the day, someone in his position of seniority doesn't even get a chance to make his own case. He's just axed with, without with immediate effect. No, he is just actually, the law permits you, know, hmm. according to the majority. Hmm. See, you must see there are so many responsible people on the board. Right. It's not our opinion. It's not merely a legal opinion. Right. If you see the composition of the board. Right. It was Mr. Ratan Tata. Forget Mr. Ratan Tata. Apart from that, you had independent directors like right. Mr. Venus Srinivasan, Sajay Perambar, hmm. and he's the dean of the Harvard University. Nithi Noria. Nithi Noria. Right. See, all of them are so responsible you had people. Eminent people eminent there. Eminent people. And but, they've had in, enough corporate experience. But do you also have to give grounds for it to suggest why are you doing this? What, what has gone wrong See, in this time? There might be, I think, so many reasons. Uh, the board possibly have not come out with uh, any grounds. Hmm. And there is also no reason or, uh, I think, uh, compulsion to actually give any grounds for the removal or replacement of a chairman as opposed to a director. You don't have to give grounds? No, not necessary. Only now the company's access, if a person is removed as a director, then you have to give an opportunity of being heard. Such an important position as a chairman, you can remove him without telling chairman, him why? See, not under the corporate law, a chairman can be elected even for every board meeting. But the articles actually say that a chairman can be elected by the board of directors for a specified number of periods. It's only a contract. Yeah. And it can, he can be removed by giving a tenure notice or sometimes he can be even be removed straight away. What, ha what happens now though? Because uh, we learn from reliable reports that in the course of the meeting itself, Cyrus Mystery said that he finds what has been done to him illegal and that he'll challenge it. See, that is his perception. Hmm. Anybody is entitled to have his own views in the matter. You're saying it's not illegal? This is, this is a view of uh, the majority directors, not only my view. Okay. It, see, they are not going to merely act on my opinion okay. or Mr. Chidambaram's opinion or Mr. Ravindran's opinion. Right. Mrs. Ravindran's opinion. These were all the see, two other they opinions. They themselves actually are luminaries. But uh, we already hear that there's a possibility that he and the Shapurji group might move the company law board uh, against his removal, saying it was not done as per due procedure. Does, will he have a strong case there? Are you worried? No, we see, as far as lawyers are concerned, hmm. cases come and cases go. No? And we actually felt what we were giving as opinion was right from our perspective. Hmm. And we don't take actually cases personally to our heart. We just argue cases in court. But is there a possibility that his challenge will have some substance and that could see, put the Tatars in trouble? They'd get actually, struck in a prolonged uh, legal up, battle. See, you, uh, you would have seen the uh, most leading case, escorts as LIC. Even the Supreme Court said LIC, when it votes in a board meeting, when they removed uh, those days, mm the chairman of escorts. They yes. said, actually LIC when it votes as a shareholder, it only dons the robes of a shareholder, right? not a PSU. Okay. It need not give any reasons for its voting, in what way it votes. Okay, but in simple terms, to, to explain it to the, the common viewer, uh, is this likely to turn into a prolonged legal battle between the Tatas and uh, the mystery family over his removal? I only hope it should not actually. See, actually, I feel that that should be an amicable way of resolving the issues. Hmm. I think uh, it should not be unnecessarily blown out of proportion. Okay. And personally speaking, I am in interested in all the groups. Right. And uh, court you battles these days, I think, gives unnecessary unpleasantness. Last question to you. You've been associated with the Tatas for so long. Some people see this as an attempt by Ratan Tata to reassert himself, to recapture control of the company. Is that a fair assessment? I don't think so. The very fact that he has fixed a time limit for himself, you know, four months. Yeah. He wants to get out. Right. But he must have had his own ideas of how Tata group should be managed in the future as well. 
you've been appearing for the Tata, so you also are familiar with how their businesses are performing. Uh, some in Cyrus's camp argue that, look, what has he done which is so wrong? Some businesses are doing badly, others are doing well. But that has always been the case. So what was, quote unquote, his great sin that actually led to such a drastic step? That, I think, uh, you not only ask the board of directors, mm. I was only a legal counsel. Right. You were just giving your view on whether I it could be done or not. And I've not gone into those details. Okay. But there's, it's quite likely that you may well be part of any uh, ensuing future legal battle were that to happen, I'm sure. I, I, we let us all pray that that... Uh, it doesn't come to that. Yeah. Mr. Parasan, thank you very much indeed thank for talking to us. You.